my name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the Southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Here we are in Vegas at the uh, Conrad pickup area at the Resorts World Casino. T today is the day we're gonna try to hit it hard. We're gonna try to make the canyon run. We have had to cancel the northern route and the Yellowstone run. We're just gonna have to do that another time for another episode. So we're here in Vegas and... Um, we're leaving Vegas. We're leaving Vegas. <laughs> and we are pointing the nose east and right after the canyon run and we are on our way back home. So, 1700 miles from home right now. What do you got, 17? 1700 nautical miles to home. Wish us luck. Okay, I don't know how much you can hear here with the wind. Here we are in uh, North Las Vegas. We're getting ready to make the run to the canyon. It is very windy here. I'll pan around, you can see. There's our view, a few technical difficulties, GoPro issues, understanding the plane issues, the plane not being updated issues, but uh, we're on our way. We're going to go to the canyon. If all goes well, we'll just start pointing east and heading home. Well, once again, I'm struggling with cockpit audio. Uh, I've started going back to the old method, which is plugging into the GoPros. Since I have some newer version GoPros, and uh, we'll see how that works out on future videos. But in this case, uh, I just have to uh, voice over what's going on. We lined up on this runway. We had a straight 90 degree crosswind. And you're going to see just how hard that wind is trying to push this plane to the left. You'll see my left hand sort of you know, moving the... Uh, stick left to compensate for the wind. And you see it right there. And then I had to steer back to the center of the runway because it was just a ton of wind today and uh, it was a pretty challenging uh, 90 degree crosswind. But once you're up in the air in these Cirrus, they're, they're really good through the wind and uh, very easy to control once they're airborne. Next view is just kind of through the Las Vegas Valley as we make our way, in this case, south eastbound toward the dam. So we're going to call up to ATC here and see if we can get a couple of orbits of the Hoover Dam. At this point, we're going to stay relatively low through the Las Vegas Valley. We're going to head southeast over Lake Mead and toward the Black Canyon Gorge, which is that narrow area that they picked out to build the Hoover Dam. Okay, here we are. Again, still heading southeast over Lake Mead. Take a look at how low the lake is. I mean, it's 
just been continually dropping year after year. And, and uh, quite frankly, I've made a lot of trips to Vegas. This is the lowest I've ever seen Lake Mead. So you can see that bathtub ring around the mountains there. That's, that would, the top of that ring would obviously be the normal part of the, um, of the lake, the normal level. We got a couple of really beautiful orbits here of Hoover Dam. And you can see the new, the brand new bridge they built just a few years ago. Uh, in order to get over that dam, you used to actually have to drive over the top of the dam. But now that road is, you know, takes you across the gorge at highway speed, so it's a little nicer. If you ever get the chance to make this flight, I strongly recommend it. It's just an amazing uh, visual, spectacular view. You know, it almost seemed surreal flying over the dam and seeing, seeing it from our own airplane. It was just a cool, cool trip. Okay, now that we're done with our second orbit of the dam, we're just going to point the uh, nose of the plane east toward directly toward the canyon. And the cool thing about the canyon is that there are these navigational waypoint corridors uh, that connect two waypoints on the RNAV. And so you'll just pretty much dial up uh, the waypoint on your avionics and move from one waypoint to another. And there's these nice corridors and then there's differing altitudes that you have to maintain depending on whether you're going north or you're going south. And the difficulty today was, as if we didn't have enough difficulty, is that as we were going through the canyon, we were literally at the very minimum altitude for our direction due to cloud cover. So we, you can see in some of these pictures where we had to skirt under the cloud cover uh, just, you know, to get these shots. So we didn't do all the corridors that day because we were kind of pushed down uh, into an area where we would have been below the minimum corridor. You can see right here the clouds kind of started pushing us down. So we didn't have much of an opportunity to um, to really enjoy the, the vistas and the dam. Uh, you know, the, pretty much the whole time, the whole trip, it was a struggle. It was a struggle with weather, it was a struggle with audio, it was a struggle with you know, radios. Um, so, trip could have been better, but we made the best of it, and really just amazing, beautiful views going through Grand Canyon National Park. We did get a couple of clear openings there, and we got some great shots. In honor of those of you who have uh, given me feedback on the site, you might notice that I kept the music out of this video. Hopefully uh, you enjoy uh, the information, the voiceover a little bit more. Um, but we'll give this a shot this time, see what you think. Um, exiting on the east side of the canyon, it's kind of neat the way the ground comes up to meet you. You can see these pine trees, we could almost reach out or at least it felt like we could reach out and touch them. Uh, they were just, this kind of came right up to the plane uh, as we headed out the east side and on uh, eastward uh, toward our next stop, which is going to be Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you thought of the, uh, the video and the content this time. Thanks.